Hello everyone, Happy New Year. It's 2022, can you believe that it's 2022? Um, I still can't believe that 2020 is over, so um, Panini part three, let's go. But today, as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be playing around with some Kylav beauty products. Most of all, just all of their eyeshadows. I'm gonna be doing a fun little makeup bingo. This is the first time I've ever done a little makeup bingo. And surprise, surprise, it's my first giveaway. It's my first giveaway because, so I ordered a bunch of their eyeshadow palettes, um, the, all the ones that I was missing. I ordered them and they sent me a free blush along with it, one of their color washes from the Impressionism collection. And I had it already, so I figured what better thing to do than to do a little giveaway with the little color wash blush. And then also my first Triumph of Venus palette, the first one that came in the mail, uh, one of the colors came smashed and I contacted the insurance company and got it replaced. But then after I had submitted the replacement, I, I was actually able to do some like minor surgery and I was able to fix it. So they sent me the replacement and now I have a replacement Triumph of Venus little nine pan palette here for a lucky winner. So I'm this is the brand new one. This is the one that was not smashed. I opened it up, I checked that it wasn't smashed. Everything is fine. This is the brand new one, the one that was destroyed and I was able to fix. That's the one that I'm gonna be keeping because there's honestly nothing wrong with it. I was able to like pack it all in there with some alcohol and like press it down with a, a coin or whatever. It's all good. But this, this one is brand new and this is the one that you're gonna be winning. So yes, one lucky winner will win this package of the Color Wash Blush in Modernity and Paris. This is their darker color and the Triumph of Venus palette. Let's quickly go through all of the different palettes that we're gonna be using today. I'm basically gonna be using all of their eyeshadow palettes and I'm gonna choose one color from each palette to, uh, or actually I'm not gonna choose it, Alex is gonna choose it for me. So here we have the first uh, uh, palette that they came out with. This is the Impressionism palette. This is what it looks like, really pretty. We have the second palette that they came out with. This is the Van Gogh. This is the Van Gogh, little fall dream of a palette in there. Then we have the Rococo palette. Reminds me a lot of the Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. Then we have the Honoré palette, which is this very nice little kind of corally garden color tone. And then the aforementioned Triumph of Venus palette. This is their limited edition palette. And finally, their latest release. This is the only one that's released under the Kylav Beauty, their new company name. This is the Le Jardin Volume 2. Um, they originally released the Volume 1 as a limited edition palette, and then they recreated it in this kind of darker, more saturated tones and then release this. So I'm very excited to be using it. It is a very pretty little palette. Let us just get into it. Let us ask Alexa which shades we should be using today. Starting with the Impressionism palette, that's this one. Echo, give me a random number between one and 16. Here's a number between one and 16. It's 11. 11, okay, so kicking it off with a bang, we have Almond, this bright blue shade. Just gonna throw that on my arm. I'm gonna try and use six different colors. So one shade from every palette. So we have almond, that like bright, bright blue. Now we have Van Gogh. Echo, give me a random number between one and nine. Here's a number between one and nine. It's two. Two, okay, there we go. We're keeping with the blue theme. We have irises, this like shimmery blue at the top. I'm already excited for this look. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Our other 16 pen palette, let's go with the Rococo. Echo, give me a random number between one and 16. Number between one and 16, it's one. One, okay, Shepherdess. So number one is this like bright yellow. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I'm already super excited about this. Now the Honoré palette. Echo, give me a random number between one and nine. Here's a number between one and nine, it's eight. Eight. Ooh, <laughs> another shimmer. We have Garden, this green shimmer at the bottom. This is gonna be an interesting look, I can already tell. All right, let's go in the, the Triumph of Venus palette. Echo, give me a random number between one and nine. Here's a number between one and nine. It's one. She's only giving me like weird numbers. We have the black depths, which you know what? Okay, all right, I accept it because this palette is like a lot of blues and we already have two blues that we've chosen. So I'm kind of glad. And finally, Le Jardin. Echo, give me a random number between one and nine. Here's a number between one and nine. It's three. Three, ooh. We have Viola, this purple. Another matte. Okay, so we have three mattes, three shimmers to play with. This is gonna be interesting, because this is our color story that we have to work with. It's like 
bright purple, bright blue, this iris blue shimmer, yellow, green, and black. This is gonna be really interesting and I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm actually going to start out with the Le Jardin palette. I'm gonna go in with this Viola shade. I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush. This is an Odin's Eye FR1, big, big floof brush. And I'm gonna focus that in my outer corner and bring it out towards my brow bone. Pull that a bit into the crease as well, but definitely focusing on the outer portion of my eyelid. I'm going in with Viola first, even though like in the palette, it looks like a bit of a darker color to the blue that's in the Impressionism palette, but I kind of just want to add some depth to this color with that blue later. We'll see. We'll see how it ends up working out. Cause just as a swatch by itself, this purple swatched a little bit lighter than that blue did. That blue was like very vibrant, very like oomph. And honestly, ever since I started doing my makeup a little bit differently, like my eye makeup and like focusing it more towards this way and pulling my eye out like this, um, I've just, I've liked my eyeshadow application so much more than I used to. Just like the kind of shape that it gives my eyes. Cause it's definitely more of like an elongated, like outward facing shape rather than like rounded. This is beautiful. I love this. Oh, I'm excited for this look. It's going to be nice. I'm keeping that a little bit, a little bit soft. For now, just until later. I'm gonna bring that a little bit on my bottom lash line as well. Just again in the outer corner and I'm gonna like really blow that out. How is everyone? How's your holidays? I hope everyone was able to stay safe in these like crazy, crazy times unprecedented times as they like to say, because we haven't gotten tired of hearing that. These are unprecedented times. And now with this blue shade almond from the Impressionism palette, I'm taking a smaller blending brush. This is my Luxie 237, itty bitty little blending brush. Um, and I'm taking that, oof. This is a very saturated color. So like going with a teeny tiny little bit. And I am going to place that even more concentrated in the outer corner. and into the crease. Very interesting. This color is super saturated. I'm gonna try outlining the crease a little bit with this color. I'm losing a little bit of that purple, so I'm gonna go back in with it later but I'm focusing this into the crease and I'm bringing it in a little bit. Same thing on this side. Focusing on the outer corner first, pulling it out a little bit towards the brow bone and into that purple. And then we're gonna bring it in to the crease. This look is gonna be so interesting. I love it already. Like these palettes are just phenomenal. Bringing a little bit more of this blue into the crease on this side. That's already so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that purple in the outer corner because I don't wanna lose that purple. Beautiful, okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue in the bottom lash line as well, just in the other corner. I'm not taking a whole lot more on that brush. Just one dip into the color, because I don't want it to overtake that purple in the bottom lash line. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, cool. And again, with that purple, because I don't want it to just be blue on the bottom lash line, and I kind of want to blow that out a little bit more there. And I'm making sure that this all connects with what I'm doing on the top. Gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. Now, because we have a black to use, I'm going to just use that to deepen out the outer corner. So I'm taking that color depths in the uh, 
Triumph of Venus palette. Just a little bit, I'm not taking too much. I'm just patting that in the outer corner and pulling that out towards the brow bone. Just to add a little bit of depth in the outer corner. Not too much, just enough. And I'm bringing that outwards this way. I added a little bit more on this side than I did on this side, but that's okay. And this is a Odin's Eye FR6. This is just a small pencil brush. I didn't think this look was gonna turn out blue, but I'm surprised every day. I love surprises. I love some surprises, let's just say that. I love some surprises. I'm gonna take that smaller blending brush that I use with the blue, just to blend in that black. Cause I don't want it to overtake anything on my eye. Normally if I thought it was too strong of a black, I would go in with that blue again. But in this case, I kind of like it. It's added a very nice dimension to the look and it's pulling my eye out even further this way and I think it's just, it's beautiful. It worked very well and it blended out beautifully. So, mm, so good. I'm not gonna take that black into the bottom lash line cause I don't want it to be a little bit disjointed. I can, um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm not taking that black further in. Next, I'm moving into the Van Gogh palette with the blue of the irises here, just on my finger. I'm gonna take some of that and I'm basically gonna put it all over my eyelid. That's so beautiful. Oh my God. This, mm, I'm kind of obsessed. Just a little bit. Like this turned out so much better than I imagined that it would. <laughs> Honestly, this is beautiful. This palette is amazing. Like all these palettes are amazing. I'm using all of them. It just created this stunning gradient. And then this blue just adds a lilac to this look that I didn't realize that it needed, but it's, it's beautiful. Mm, okay. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Shepherdess color in the Rococo palette, and I'm gonna place that in the inner corner. Yeah, that was a good choice. Look at, that's beautiful. <clears throat> These palettes are a dream. This yellow goes so nicely with that blue. And I'm just packing that into the inner corner on both eyes. This is a stunning inner corner color. This is absolutely beautiful for the inner corner. Like they nailed it. They nailed it. And then lastly, I'm going to take the garden palette here. No, this one, this one on a, what was that? That, that one I was using before was it just a NYX tiny little pencil brush thing. But this one now is the Odin's Eye FR15. It's just like this small little tapered brush. It's very short, very little. I'm gonna take that garden shade because y'all know how much I love green on the lower lash line. We're gonna put green on the lower lash line and I'm gonna take it in like this. That's not really showing up. I'm gonna try again on that NYX brush pick up this color, see if it. This is a little bit better with that. I'm gonna try with my finger. I'm just gonna put that on my pinky, on my pinky, and then just run that all along. Yeah, that's better. The bottom, ooh, pretty ass. I'm so excited about this look, it's so nice. Okay. 
I just love green in the lower lash line. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing here. There we go. Can you see that? Stunning, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that here. I'm very happy with that. This is not the look that I expected would come out of today, but you know what? I guess that's the fun of doing these kind of makeup bingo videos is you have no idea what's gonna come out at the end. So really it's all just left in the hands of fate, destiny, if you will, great game. I'm gonna go throw on some blush and mascara and a lip of some kind and I will be right back. Okay, I've thrown on some mascara and a lip, but I actually am going to just do a little demo of the color wash very quickly. So that way you can see what it, exactly it is that you're getting with the giveaway. So this is the colors of the color wash. We have like a dark kind of plummy berry tone and then this shimmery like orangey color. These two are actually really beautiful paired together um, and on their own. I like to wear this one by itself and I like to wear this one by itself, but together they're very pretty. So because this is made for a darker skin tone, I'm only gonna go in with a tiny little bit on my Rare Beauty foundation brush. I use it as a blush brush, specifically for cream, brush cream blushes and liquid blushes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on that brush. I don't know why I tap it. Let's tap off the cream blush. And I'm just gonna go in with little tapping motions to focus that blush where I want it to go. You can also use your fingers with this. I'll go in with my fingers on the other cheek just so you can see how it works that way. But this is definitely my preferred way to apply this blush. It is with a brush, specifically with this brush. For cream blushes, I really like to use more densely packed brushes like this one. There you go, there is the blush with a brush. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the shimmery blush on as well, just so that you can see what it looks like with both. It definitely adds a bit of a highlight to the cheek when you use both of them. And it's just a stunning color, I really like it. There we go. And then with the other cheek, I'm gonna go in with my finger. It's a little bit more intense with this, with your finger, but you can blend it out. Just because of how much more pigmented it is with your finger, I tend to gravitate more towards a brush for this blush, but you can, like as you can see, it's blending out really nicely. Very pigmented. You also don't have to dig your finger in as much the way that I did, because I dug my finger in there. Just so you can see, I put it on with this finger, but I'm blending it out with a bare finger. I feel like I went over the eyeshadow a little bit in the outer corner with it. Yeah. So you can see this side is a little bit more pigmented than this side, but that's fine. And it's the blush is brought in a little bit more but you can always wipe away at it if you don't like how much went in. That's okay. It's good, it's fine. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the remainder of this onto this cheek, just to kind of match it. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange on my finger, just a little, and tap it just along here. So that's what it looks like for both of them on top of each other. It is this like deep berry tone and then adding the orange again will just give it a bit of a more orangey tone and make it more shimmery because the orange color is a shimmery blush. So now I have this like really pretty like highlight on my face from that blush. That's nice, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange on the other cheek. I definitely went a little bit heavy handed with this. Don't do what I did. Go in with a little bit, but I don't hate it, you know, I don't hate it. I kind of actually really like it. 
And as you can see, like even when you go a little bit more heavy handed with it, it's still salvageable. Like you can just blend it out. That's the thing I love about cream blush is it's just, it's very versatile and like not versatile, malleable. It's very malleable cream blushes are. Like you can always take away from them when you've added too much. But there you go. That's how the blush works. You saw it applied on one side with the brush and the other side with my fingers. I still prefer the brush just because I don't tend to like going so heavy handed with my blushes. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. I'm just going in with my brush to kind of fix the outsides and make sure that it's all blended. It's all blended nicely. And there we go. This is the finished look using all of the Kylaf Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I used one shade from every single palette. And also I used the Kylaf Beauty Color Wash Blush in the shade Modernity and Paris on my cheeks, just so that you can see exactly what it is that you're getting with the giveaway. There you go. And again, just to remind everybody in the giveaway, you're going to be getting one of the Color Wash Blushes, the Modernity in Paris, the one that I have on my cheeks and the limited edition Triumph of Venus palette. Just a little like care package so that you can try Kylav Beauty and see how you like it. All of the details for the giveaway are going to be in the description box below. So if you are interested, please go check it out. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will see you in the next video.